Hey, what's up guys? So this is an updated version of my summer update video from back in 2018. So now we are in the summer of 2019 and I gotta say a lot has definitely changed since that, since I made that last video. When I made that video, a lot of the things that I was dealing with back then, I was unsure of the future. I was scared of the, of the future, but honestly, Growing up now, I'm 21 now, and I gotta say that I'm not scared of the future because there is no point in constantly worrying about what's not happening right now. The important thing to place your focus on is on what's in front of you. So some things that have changed this year for me personally is I've matured and have grown more. I, Yep, I have not just been growing facial hair, for that's for sure. I, from the, that last video, I didn't really have facial hair, but now I kind of have a bit. But yeah, I would definitely say maturing more and realizing that life really isn't all sunshine and rainbows and not everyone's always going to be nice to you. I'm glad I'm actually home this summer also because next summer... I won't be home. I'm going to be more into my field. I just recently, just this previous year, I just finished my first year of graduate school and it was honestly one of the scariest experiences of my life in terms of how much I truly didn't know a lot of the basics and small things that didn't really matter to me at first, but did start to matter in the business sense. So a lot of the things that happened this year is I actually upgraded some of my resources. So I don't rely too much on my iPad or some of those note-taking devices. I am actually filming this on a MacBook right now, which is kind of cool. So I just bought new glasses and using some AirPods. Thrower's stuff is back there. I don't know why he didn't bring it with him. Just ordered a new watch, so can't wait for that. So it's currently the middle of summer right now. And I'm currently really enjoying reading uh, this book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, because I want to improve myself personally and because I just last month I had rotations at a pharmacy and it was honestly very difficult. Very difficult for me to grasp a simple concepts. So I'm hoping to improve this summer and develop myself personally. I mean, I always try to improve and develop myself, but this summer it's, I'm hoping to come back to school and come back to rotations much stronger with a stronger mindset. Also, uh, a lot has changed. A lot of people have changed. That's in literally just one year. It's pretty amazing. So that's something to note because not everything in this world is going to stay constant. People just like this world are constantly changing people I knew last year aren't the same person that they are this year, even my own family. Everyone changes. Um, so something interesting this summer is I've actually been growing my hair longer. And it's kind of, I guess I'm kind of liking it. I'm really liking these new glasses though. Yeah, so I've always been upgrading my systems. Uh, I'm actually working my first like actual kind of job so before I before I started graduate school I was just shadowing at a pharmacy but now I'm actually working in a pharmacy and hello I heard somebody talking. oh that's me I'm talking Why you his mommy here? oh no <laughs> the glasses are nice it's so clear yeah, 
Thanks. <laughs> And and okay, what happened was I? Yeah, so now I'm actually working at a pharmacy, which is pretty cool, and because I'm actually getting paid, so that's nice. Um, what else? I'm currently learning to not make the same mistakes. I'm hoping to become stronger. I'm planning on creating a mission statement for myself to make sure that my priorities align with the person I want to become. I have to admit that lately I have been struggling a lot with learning to be happy and comfortable with being alone with myself and still improving but I think this is a very important skill to develop as a person. I know it will benefit me in the long run as I grow up, hoping that in the future I have this covered down. Yeah, something that also happened this year is I lost a few friends. Some friends just aren't meant to be always part of your life, which is which can be sad, but Sometimes it, it just turns out that people who are meant to be there stay. And if you think that some people aren't helping you improve or just holding you back, then sometimes you just have to let them go. That's just the reality. Life can, life has its ups and downs and you just have to just understand that. I didn't do much traveling this uh, this year. Mainly stayed in at home or my usual places or in the dorms with my bro, my bro. Uh, I joined a fraternity that was kind of interesting, and <laughs> that's a very social aspect of graduate school, I would say. So I'm currently working on improving myself this summer. I want to return stronger. Um, luckily this summer when I return, I don't really have much insecurities about what I'm going to do when I get back, which is nice because I'll be able to, everything's going to flow smoothly. Luckily I did uh, pursue leadership positions and I was able to uh, get myself, get my foot in the door in terms of leadership and establishing myself at the school. So that's nice. <laughs> Still working on improving though. I'm not the best I can be right now. I would say still need to improve. I've been getting a lot into dance lately actually. Following this dancer, Sean Liu, and he's, his journey is just as plain amazing and it definitely does inspire me to become a better person, overall individual and a dancer. Uh, of course, dancing is not my number one priority, but it does make me happy and it's a great way to relieve stress. Uh, in terms of weightlifting though, from the, my previous uh, summer video, I said I, I could lift 35. Well, this summer I actually PR'd at 40 pounds, which was definitely an achievement. Uh, something I would say I would not have been able to achieve without using uh, fitness apps. Yeah, a lot of the things of today are becoming app application based which is kind of nice yeah. really enjoying this new macbook though um i used to just own a big windows but i realized during the school year that that wasn't a very efficient way of using of carrying that around throughout my entire undergrad and it did uh have a problem for my back which sucks so now things are much better I would say um, I really got into clothing and fashion this school year I, I would also say that uh, dance clothing uh, grown-up clothing so working on getting more uh, professional clothing and improving that uh, I've been uh, during the school year I kind of uploaded on YouTube but this summer uh, I've had I've had more time to 
upload more videos and create more content, which is nice. Hoping it helps someone out there. Um, and everything. Uh, I, in terms of my school studies, I've been performing uh, slightly average A's and B's, slightly below average on exams. And but I would say that it's all definitely a learning experience. I mean, uh, I'm kind of young compared to my classmates, so there is that learning curve, and I just need to learn to appreciate the journey and slowly uh, improve and level up because some people are at this stage of their life where they're ready for certain things. And, uh, me, I think I still need a lot of growth and development. I've been getting a lot into podcasts lately also, uh, besides reading. And I've been listening to this uh, YouTuber, Thomas Frank. Uh, and he talks about how we wouldn't skip, or when we first start out a video game, we wouldn't skip to the final boss. We need to slowly level up, gather our materials, and get stronger so that we can fight that final boss. And I, I kind of see that as myself, you know, slowly improving and leveling up so that I'll be ready to take on that uh, that final boss. So, hoping in the future I'll be ready for just about anything. Uh, so I've been spending a lot of time with my dog actually and she's adorable but she gets annoyed of me really easily. Getting a bit of beard here. But yeah, my dog gets my dog is adorable. Really love her. I really love spending time with my family. I don't know where I'll be next summer when I record this next update, but hopefully I'm in a better place and a better mindset. Yeah, this is just a self reflection video. One one thing I hope to do is improve my priorities in the future and reading skills and listening skills. All these errors and grades. You don't want to do it again? Washing mm -hmm. the car? I can. Okay, do it now. Okay. Just wrap this up. Still have some homework to take care of. We have summer homework this summer. And in terms of personal relationships, don't worry about it. Focus on yourself. You still have. I still have a lot to learn. Good luck.